Hello, Dolphin users. Now, this video will teach you how to operate on the Western Digital Tracks. So, this is the operation video for tracks. Users can learn how to read and write tracks and how to extract the firmware module from the tracks. Now, let's start the program. SATA Zero Western Digital Firmware Repair Program. Power on the hard drive. Now the drive gets ready. For most Western Digital hard drives, we select this Marvel family because Western Digital hard drives use the Marvel chip inside. So that's why we need to select this one. Auto get detail. This is a physical head structure. It's very helpful. So sometimes when we try to find one dollar drive to swap the heads, we need to check the physical head map. So this has the same physical head map. This is the basic requirement for head swap. Now we click OK. Here's the SPT. Please note that when users want to read and write the tracks, the SPT value must be correct. Sometimes this one is wrong, users can click Optin SPT. When Optin SPT failed, users try to fill in the SPT manually. Users can get this SPT value from other dollar drives or from the firmware sources. So it's easy to get the SPT value for different hard drive families. Only if this value is correct, users can read and write the tracks and operate on the tracks. Now click OK to enter the program. So, firmware operations. We can see the read tracks and write tracks. For read tracks, we just need to read track from head zero because it's the same. There are multiple copies. For this kind of new Western Digital hard drives, they have more than two copies. That means users can read the firmware not only from the head zero and head one. Users can also get the firmware modules from other heads. For this head, for this hard drive, users can read the firmware modules from the head two and head 3 because it has totally 4 heads that means it has 4 <coughs> copies of firmware now we have completed reading the tracks now we can try to write tracks it's very easy write tracks this is a track parse for we click right Sometimes, when the firmware modules cannot be listed correctly, users can fill in the SPT value and then read the tracks. 
After the tracks are being read successfully, users can extract the firmware modules from the tracks. And next, users can write the extracted modules to the hard drive. And then the firmware issue will be fixed. So this is one very helpful function. Now the program is writing the tracks. After the track writing, we can try to extract the modules from these read tracks. I have selected multiple copies, four copies. So after writing the copy zero, it will write copy one, and then write copy two, and then write copy three. Well, I just want to save the time, then I will stop the track writing. Stop. Okay. After writing tracks, we can check another function. Tracks to modules. This is to extract the firmware modules from these tracks. Okay, so this is the parse. To save the modules with checksum error, yes. Now we can see all the firmware modules have been extracted successfully. Let's go to the firmware parse. These are all the tracks we have read. ROM, modules, these are all the modules we have extracted. So we get the tracks read and write, and then we get the modules from these tracks. So this function is very easy to use and also very helpful. Thank you for watching this video.